What's up, gang? Today, we are going all the way to a story that's from Texas, the heart of Texas, Dallas, Texas. We're going with a story of an accident from down that way. Before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. If you can, hit that like. Comment if you got something to comment on the video. Share it with your friends or whatever if you got a bike crew of people that like cars or like bikes or whatever they do. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. At the end of this video, for my people that really do watch my videos, I'm going to show you my new merch, my new merchandise. Um, they're shirts. They're going for 25 bucks. I'm sorry, 30 bucks. If you buy two of them, you get a deal for 25 for two. But um, they're 30 bucks each. They're Riker shirts. I also got some Corvette shirts. But let's get into the video. Today's video comes from Dallas, Texas. I will not give up my man's whole name, but I know for sure his first name is Willie. I will not give up the rest of his name. He goes by on my channel. He goes by Chulo W. So when you see that name in the comment section, that's who it is. He was kind enough to share his story with us today. I wish I could have, you know, did some type of webcam or something to have him on the channel. But he gave me his full story. I did a little interview on him and he gave me his story. This is his beautiful bike right here. This was it. It's a 2021, as we can see. Um, Riker 900. He was coming from the car wash. He had just gotten the vehicle washed. Got it all washed up, ready to go out for a night with the boys, so on and so forth, and go hang out on this thing. He pulls up to his driveway at his, at his home. And while he was pulling up and, and going in, um, pulling into the back of his driveway, he turned the wheel too wide. He turned his wheel too wide. He almost, there was his SUV that was sitting in his driveway. He almost hit his truck. He almost hit his, his truck that's in the driveway. I think the truck is going to be shown. Actually, I think the truck is a pickup truck. It's going to be shown in the video um, as I go on with the pictures. He almost hit the truck. To swerve from hitting the truck, he ended up almost running into a gate that's like also near his driveway that's on the side of it. He almost ran into his ran into his gate. So what he did was he just held on tight because he almost flipped off the bike. So he's hitting the throttle, right? He has a throttle. The bike brake is is small. And it's wet. So he keeps missing the brake. He had just gotten a bike. He's not an experienced rider at all. He had just gotten the bike not too long before. He's not experienced with it. Kind of panicking a little bit with the whole situation. He accidentally hits the gas again. Tries to hit on that brake. Misses the whole brake. It's wet. It's the little small brake pedal. He goes straight through his garage. This is the aftermath of that, of him going through his garage. If you guys got questions on that, get in the comment section. Let me know what those questions are so my man can reply to those because I'm sure he's watching the video today. This literally all could have been prevented if he was just obviously more of a more experienced rider on one of these three wheel bikes. That's number one. Number two, he hadn't went through his class yet, his three-wheeled um, bike class. He hadn't went through it yet. As most of us know, the bike class is about $99 um, if you go through Can-Am Can -Am for your three-wheel endorsement license. And just to go through the classes and understand the bike so you can be safe and so on and so forth. Um, that's his basic moral to this whole story is this would not have happened if he had more training on his bike overall. So as we can see, he kind of crashes through the wall. This is the door leading into his house. This is the other side of that. So this is one side. This is the other side. And as we can see, there's his truck back there. So that's the truck he almost hit. He swerves to miss that truck. I'm going to assume over here on the left side, there's a gate. He's trying to swerve to miss that gate. Come straight into the garage because he keeps hitting the gas instead of hitting that brake and when he tries to hit the brake 
the brake's too small and, and his foot keeps slipping off of it because the brake pedal is wet because he just came from the car wash and he hadn't dried the vehicle off. So just a collection of things that happen. These things can't happen to any of us. So I'm doing this video. You know, now he can look back and laugh at some of it. It wasn't funny at the time, but now he can look back at this situation and laugh at some of it. But it wasn't funny at the time, but we all can learn from others' mistakes. He's going to learn from his mistake. Now he's went and he's done his three will endorsement class. Um, so he understands it now. He gets it now. And he has a 2022 Riker now. And one of his first upgrades was he went and got the extended brake pedal. So I've been almost involved in some of this where I let somebody ride my bike and um, when I let her ride the bike, she was not experienced with it. I did give her some, you know, ride with her for a minute to kind of show her how to ride it. But then when push came to shove and she got into a spot where she needed to back out of a parking spot and kind of go back into it, she, she kept hitting the gas instead of hitting the brake. And it's just something in her head. She says she works at the post office and at the post office, they have these things called mules and it, it's it's backwards the way those work compared to the way the Rikers work. So she just keeps hitting the gas. I keep seeing brakes. She kept hitting the gas and she went through a fence and she hit a garage. And that was on my bike. And I hadn't even had my bike that long. So I think everybody or a lot of people have that story of where they had a silly accident or somebody that they loaned the bike to or let ride for a minute. Something happened that just should not have happened. Um, hopefully I didn't butcher this story that bad. Hopefully I got most of the details, you know, right in this story, but shout out to my boy, Chulo Webb, government name, not full government name, won't get a last name, name Willie. Shout out for sharing your story. Shout out for sending us some pics so we can see exactly what you were working with and dealing with or whatever. And, um, man, that's a bad day right there, man. Yeah, that's a bad day right there. Look, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. Hey, y'all, uh, we got to be safe out here. Do not let somebody ride your bike that does not know how to ride a Can-Am Riker. That's number one. Number two, if you have a story of something like this and you got the pictures with it, send it to me to capay at gmail.com. If, even if you got pictures, video, whatever you got, send it to me. I will interview on it so we can go through and these are things that people need to see and know so we can all be safe this summer and moving forward so we don't have an incident like this. I'm going to show you guys real quick my merch line, then I'm going to get on up out of here, but thank you for watching the video today. Hey, hit that subscribe button. I am nine people away from 2000, nine people away. One of you guys can count today as helping me with getting to 2000 subscribers. I want to get there before the end of the night. You guys can help me with that. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, watch my merch line. I'm about to show it to you in five, four, three, two. CA Paint. Checking out the new merch in red. You see it. CA Paint in a medium. Riker Gang. That's going to be my Riker logo or Riker theme, Riker Gang. You see on the tire lettering, we got C8 Pate on the tire lettering. Riker Gang. We also got it in white. We also have it in white. So if you want your t-shirts, you want those C8 Pate t-shirts, those Riker t-shirts, these shirts are going for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. If you buy two of them, a white and a red, I'll give them to you for $25 each. Record game. Let's get it.